Have you ever wondered why things fall down instead of going up? Well, there's an invisible force at work, constantly pulling everything towards the center of the Earth. This force is known as gravity. It's what keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground, and what makes an apple fall from a tree. Imagine you're holding a ball at a certain height, and you let go. What happens? It falls down, right? But why doesn't it go up or sideways? That's because gravity is pulling it down towards the center of the Earth. The larger an object is, the more gravity it has. That's why the Earth, being so much larger than the ball, pulls the ball towards it, rather than the other way around. Gravity is an incredible force that affects every aspect of our lives, from the way we move to the way our planet orbits the Sun, so, the mystery of why things fall down is solved by the invisible force called gravity. Now you know that gravity is responsible for things falling down, but how does it actually work? Well, let's start by imagining a ripe apple falling from a tree. It's gravity that pulls it straight down to the Earth. But gravity isn't just about falling apples, it's a fundamental force of nature that acts between all objects with mass. It's what makes the planets orbit the Sun, it's what gives weight to physical objects, and it's even responsible for the tides. So, how does gravity work? It's all about mass and distance. Every object in the universe, no matter how big or small, exerts a gravitational pull on every other object. The bigger the mass of an object, the stronger its gravitational pull. That's why Earth, which is pretty massive, has a strong enough pull to keep us all grounded. But it's not just about mass. Distance also plays a key role. The further apart two objects are, the weaker the gravitational pull between them. This is why, even though the Sun is much larger than Earth, you're not pulled off your feet and flung towards it. The Sun's gravitational pull on you is weaker than the Earth's, because you're much closer to the Earth. Now let's take the example of the Moon orbiting the Earth. The Moon is far less massive than Earth, but it's also much closer to us than any other celestial body. This close proximity means that even though the Moon's mass is small, it still exerts a strong gravitational pull, strong enough to keep it in orbit around the Earth. In essence, gravity is a tug of war between mass and distance. It's a delicate balance that keeps the universe in motion and life as we know it possible. There you have it! Gravity is the force that keeps the Moon in orbit around the Earth. And it's the reason you're not floating off into space right now. But here's a question. If gravity is everywhere, why do astronauts float in space? A common image that comes to mind when we think of space is astronauts floating around, seemingly unaffected by gravity. But does this mean that there's no gravity in space? Actually no, this is one of the most persistent misconceptions about space. Let's clear this up. Gravity does exist in space. In fact, it's the force that keeps the Moon in orbit around the Earth, and the Earth in orbit around the Sun. So why do astronauts float? Well, they're not really floating, they're falling. Sounds strange, right? But it's a concept known as free fall. When an object is in free fall, it's moving under the influence of gravity alone, with no other forces acting upon it. This is what's happening to astronauts in space. They're constantly falling towards the Earth, but they never reach it. Why is that, you ask? Imagine throwing a ball. It arcs up and then comes down, right? That's because of gravity. Now imagine you could throw that ball so hard, that as it falls, the curve of its fall matches the curve of the Earth. The ball would keep falling, but it would never hit the ground. This is essentially what's happening to astronauts and the International Space Station. They're moving so fast horizontally, about 17,500 miles per hour, that as they fall towards the Earth, the Earth is curving away beneath them, at the same rate. So, the sensation of weightlessness that astronauts experience isn't because there's no gravity in space, it's because they're in a constant state of free fall, which makes them feel as though they're floating. So, despite what you might think, gravity is still at work in space, it's just a little less noticeable. Without gravity, we wouldn't have the orbits that keep our solar system, and us, in place. 